Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I did a tiny build home. Um, it was my first one that I attempted to do and it definitely did have a lot of struggles and hiccups that I came across. So let's get into the video. Um, so it's already started. So you can see I did a little, I think it, it was like a little pond, like a moat, <laughs> but I just did like a little thing around the actual house. Um, so I ended up doing in like the 50-ish tiles. Way later in the video, you'll see that I deleted it, but this little uh, beige base at the bottom counted as my tiles the way I laid it out at first. So right now it says I have 60 tiles when I definitely have less. So I fix that later. But it took me a while to kind of sort this out. I ended up changing the stairs a bit uh, because like way into building it, I realized I forgot a bathroom. <laughs> so I had to change it up. So I just, I'm just making the first floor. So I made it into a, like a tiny home loft, if you will. Um, I, I attempted to, but it's not the way the upstairs is, it's not really like peeking over the way I wanted to, but I tried my first, my first tiny home. It was definitely a little bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, so I made this little couch area and just sort of picking a TV here, which I end up just, yeah, picking this little, um, table from, it's one of, I think it came with the tiny home pack. Um, I tried a few different ones before I finally actually did settle on it with uh, with just putting a little TV on it, on top. So I just tried to decorate around the uh, couch a little bit, just this little mini living room area. Um, just use some lights and different plants around it. I can't remember if I end up sticking with this one, like that I'm moving around, uh, what I end up leaving beside there but I do change it a few times just to kind of get the area set up properly. Yeah so I tried different plants and I just scaled them up by the plus button or the minus button just to scale them up or down just make them a little bit bigger. Um, this planter on the wall is my favorite thing. I want it in real life. <laughs> I don't know why it's, I like it so much, but, um, I like to make it a little, like one size bigger just cause it looks a little bit, it takes up more space and it looks nicer in my opinion. So just trying to figure out some windows. I did spend a good amount of time on this little, uh, living space, <laughs> I guess. I'm picking a window and then... It changes a few times, I'm not gonna lie. So I did, so this is the house, or the lot that's right next door. So you can kind of see here on the left, um, that's Jimothy's, Jimothy Helpy's house. Um, I just demolished the, the house that was next door and used the lot for uh, the tiny home. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to move him into it. I do like how the house turned out, but um, I do like the house that he's living in now. So I'm not sure if I'm going to end up moving him, but we'll see how it goes. And then when I um, play a little bit more, make more videos with him. And I currently don't have a roof, so <laughs> you can see all the, the shadows of the wall, which is really cool. And then for this, uh, for the counter here, I couldn't make a corner. So if you hover over it, you can pick corner pieces or different um, styles of the counter. You can do the same thing with the, um, what are they called? The cabinets that go right above. You can pick like corner ones, ones that have glass frames. So you could, see, or like glass doors for plates, like to, to see like plates through it. It's really cool. I like them. So again, I did end up kind of changing this. It took me a while to get this set up. Um, I did end up changing it a little bit later on um, to add a bathroom on this floor. I'm just uh, adding all the little decorations. Um, 
products, pieces that you can never actually use. It's just there for your design. And then I just had to use the um, move objects cheat. It's a BB dot move objects on. Um, and then you can kind of place things um, not locked to the actual, like so it doesn't snap into place. Like how every time you move this, it kind of snaps like the little teapot. You can see it. So if you, you place it on the counter, you move the counter out and then it stays there like it stays in that like floating spot and then you can kind of move it a little bit around you'll see more I do it next to the sink with the um, paper towel roll in here too yeah the little spice rack yeah sorry you move out everything together and then you can slide it over sometimes it does lock into place so it's a little weird but I um, constantly move around there as you could see how I was just turning the camera so I could see if it was sticking out through the wall um, which was like the paper towel roll was kind of in the backsplash I guess it's called um, of that counter and here's where I actually picked that uh, little table from the tiny living pack the TV just casually floating in the air So I pick a lot of little de uh, decorations just to put next to the next to the TV, which I kind of like how it turned out. So I just used another uh, table so I could place it at the same height, and then I just rotated it and added it on this little table with the TV. Just to make it look like people actually live here. It's a little bit more homey, like little plants are everywhere and little knickknacks. So it just looks a little bit more used and less, I don't know, just placing a TV on a table. Just like people would have their things on their, on their TV stand or just all over the place when you're living there. So I just wanted to make it look a little bit more homey. And I love putting plants everywhere. Sometimes I feel like I use too many of them. But I could, my whole house, I can build with a bunch of plants all over the place. So I... Kind of skipped through here, as you can see, I just a table randomly showed up. I didn't end up keeping this one because, as I mentioned several times already, I end up so in this corner I end up making a bathroom. Um, so I didn't show too much. So I, I I really like this table. It's a high table or bar table, and then just little uh, chairs. Um, but yeah, I end up getting rid of that and I do a small three-seater table um, it still gets a little bit more into the middle of the room but we'll get to that shortly yeah I end up changing the colors I kept this all in because I did really like how it looked but I didn't end up keeping it unfortunately I spent a good time. I did put a lot of windows in this house. I don't really know why. I think I should have painted first and then I could have done a little bit less windows because I felt like I needed to uh, like take up the the wall space. But yeah, I put a lot of a lot of windows in this build. So I really like the way that, that pop this window popped out. Um, and I really like how it looked from the inside it, it doesn't really match the rest of the windows in the house or like the doors or anything but um, I still like how it how it looks from the inside it kind of gives a little bit more space I do end up putting some stuff on that shelf the only uh, downside of it is 
when you put the walls down or you do the the like this setting where wherever the camera is that walls down you can see all the like knickknacks uh, on that ledge um sticking like just floating in the air it's a little weird but i'm not sure if i'll end up keeping it that way if i use this house but we'll we'll get there and we get there so just placing a little bit more uh random items i sims can't use just de decorative items uh on these counters i do really like how it turned out all the things that are on here see there's like already like six plants in this room. <laughs> there's five, but technically on that uh, corner piece, there's a little plant. I didn't place it. Oh, no, we actually have more because there's ones on the TV. Yeah, so uh, here you can see, um, see the way it, so you can bring up the items, um, like, so they just go up higher, but either it's too low that the book, I, I kind of just, Ignore that it's there, um, pretending like it that like you won't you won't see it when you're playing. But the book that one red book sticks out a little bit through the ledge, which is a little odd and it's kind of annoying because too low it sticks out. If you go too high, then it's just floating. So I figured I was gonna see it floating more than it sticking out. I'll just like like it's easier to I guess ignore. And yeah, with the move objects, I was able to to move this plant close, uh, just on the edge of the uh, counter top here, and then just checking to see if it sticks to the wall, which it's not, so we're good. Yeah, and I end up putting a stereo here, and I scaled it down or radio. And there's a lot of cool like like stereos, like there's um. With the, what is it called? Um, karaoke machine. Like, those are cool. Kind of want to try those out. So here you can see upstairs I have, like, that little loft. I tried to do a little workaround. So it doesn't count. It is a cheat. But I end up, like, I didn't end up having to do that because right now it says I have 84 of 100 tiles. But that's because you'll see I deleted after. But the way I did the base, it counts as the tiles. So it, I actually have more than I do um but anyways you can if you build a room that's where the tiles count so if i just placed like a three side i guess room like three walls it doesn't count as the tiles so upstairs what i did is i built the three walls i built a fourth wall and then slid it into place and it doesn't count as the room so here i'm trying to like fix the stairs a little bit um just to kind of make it work because it for some reason it wasn't letting me you can see those tiles upstairs there's a little gap for some reason it wasn't letting me um place tiles through it i don't know why see as you can see i just deleted that piece and now i have 60 tiles of 64. just changing up my uh the outside a little bit the landscaping too i end up changing a lot I spent a lot of time on that <laughs> in real time, which I definitely edited out or sped it up. <laughs> yeah, just changing the flower boxes and the plants a little bit just to match a bit more and to bring a little light to it. As you can see here, I like slid it out in to build a wall, but I ended up bringing it down to the first floor, which I didn't notice. And I end up removing it all, but here you see I extended it and it didn't adjust the 60 tiles, even though it's a full room. So I end up deleting all that. So I ended up changing it all together and I, this took me forever to figure out that in the inside there are three walls, like three tiles there. So it made it really hard to like adjust it into place, but I end up building this little half wall, um, which is funny. I adjusted it right there, but I didn't, it didn't click in yet that I had to adjust that, that wall. But I'm trying to make this roof, uh, like a glass roof and just either make 
like a different arch to it. I couldn't tell yet what I wanted to do. So I tried to make the room a bit, like the whole house a bit smaller. Which I think I ended up making smaller altogether, which I really didn't need to do, but... Yeah, see I made the whole thing one row smaller, which I did not end up having to do because I was having issues with the roof and if I just figured it out sooner. But at the end, I used less tiles and I still made a functional home. So we're not, right now we're sitting at 50 tiles out of 64 for the tiny home. Yeah, so now the stairs are perfectly in place with the tiles upstairs, which we end up moving these stairs one more time, but we just use the straight stairs instead of the, the wrap around. So it is a little bit more loft-like right now, but I do end up um, changing it a bit when I do figure out the glass roof a little bit more. So I ended up adding that wall. I end up deleting it again later. There, I finally figured it out how to use this roof properly. Um, and now, so the, it's not, I don't know if it's still considered a loft um, because the wall there is just, uh, it's just a, a roof, but there still has to be full walls. So the only re way you can see upstairs through like the living room is just through these windows. So it's not like an open space. But it's still like a main floor and then you go upstairs just for the bedroom. So I wasn't sure if I, how I wanted to do it. If I wanted to keep it uh, the glass all the way to the top too. I ended up just keeping it uh, like a neutral uh, paneling, I guess, uh, for the roof. And then I just fit the glass to the house so it didn't extend over. And the stairs got deleted at some point, so I'm just redoing it because it got deleted when I did the roof. Um, so I end up, see there was no way to make it work, I ended up giving up <laughs> on that idea and I just made the stairs on the outside, which now thinking about it, if it was like in the middle of the night and your sim had to get up to go to the bathroom, they have to walk all the way outside, back in through the house, go to the bathroom, walk back out, and then how would you lock the door? So that's a little problematic I guess but maybe we could build a little um it would take up a few more tiles but build a little room around the stairs um so it's just a little stairwell and then add a door from that room to the living room area there yeah I did keep these stairs I ended up moving them back out just to use some space because I do lose a lot like it is a pretty small uh, bedroom here especially um, I, I do move it with the when I create the bathroom and the bathroom is very small it's just enough for a sink and a toilet I could probably add the shower in there as well but um, just so it wasn't too cramped and it didn't look too small in there because it will be on the main floor where we will be doing most of the gameplay um, I decided to put the shower upstairs in the bedroom so you have that privacy and if someone's showering somebody can still use the bathroom without having to wait. So here I'm just picking a bed. I'd end up changing it again. Which it would be cool to have these like the curtain bed. I know they don't actually move but you can imagine like the sim wants that privacy when they're sleeping because they have all the windows there and the see-through glass roof so you could kind of slide that uh, curtain over the bed um, if that were an option but let's say in our imagination it is 
And then I end up picking a dresser. So the way the room looks right now, I do end up changing it a fair amount. Um, so it doesn't stay like this, but I did change it a few times. Just want to keep this in to show the progress of how I came with the house. Um, I did end up changing it a bunch of how, like a bunch of different ways from how I started it. It looks a little bit different from how it ends up. So I use the same lamp that I had downstairs behind the couch up here. And I just end up changing the color, I believe. Maybe I did not. Yeah, so this is a little living room. I uh, change a little bit around. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do um, like an island for seating or like a little table, which I ended up sticking with a, a little table here. And I just made the little half wall shorter so there was more space for the seating area uh, for the kitchen. Yeah, so I ended up picking some chairs and I couldn't decide. Um, I should have tested the chair out there because I'm not sure if that would have worked. I assumed it would not. Um, even though you can move the chair there, I wasn't sure if I would be able to actually access the chairs underneath the stairs, but uh, I ended up moving that anyways. So yeah, here we go with the moving the stairs outside. And I added a little uh, door for it, but um, you can probably put a, I couldn't decide how I want to do it, but I ended up just doing the, the stairs going straight down. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, you could probably put a little wall around it. I guess it would have to be a two story thing, um, but just to add some privacy and keep the stairs within the house. You could probably also just knock down that wall and just build it around um, instead of just building one outside. But um, yeah, I wanted to keep the, you can see I'm cutting the land a lot. Um, I really wanted to keep the, uh, the water around, um, take up the majority of the space. Um, and I wanted it to look like it was more like a, I guess like a pond all around the house. Um, so I put these plants around um, just so it, it looks like it goes to the edge of the lot. It doesn't, you need one tile around it, which kind of sucks. So I just added these little like bushes around so you can kind of, uh, you can see I'm putting one a little lower. So I scale it down so you can't see the edge of the, the pool or the pond that I used. So I go all the way around with it. Um, I just keep these ones like the the taller bush. And it also just adds a little bit extra privacy into the lot for your neighbors. They don't see because I, I did add a lot of windows. It's not that high, but it's just a little bit of extra privacy. So you do have like the little walkway and in the back, if you guys remember from my previous videos, um, there's that little um, like hangout area, that skate rink. So it, there would be a lot of people walking around um, from to the community lots. So I add just the, the smaller ones. You can see I'm, I'm re selecting it and then scaling it down. That's why it keeps going giant and small. Um, I just add the small ones just for like a border around the walkway just to keep the, so you, again, so you don't see that little ledge for the pond and just keep the same, uh, I guess like format around. It's a lot of gardening to do though. <laughs> So they weren't snapped perfectly into place. It was kind of hard to line them up. 
Um, so yeah, as you can see here, I think this is at the point where I realized I had no bathroom. <laughs> so I moved, I got rid of one of the, what's it called, the uh, counter spaces. I moved the stove over. Um, and then here is where I built the little bathroom. So we're still sitting at 50 tiles. Um, the bathroom doesn't add anymore because it's within the space. Obviously that kind of makes sense, but um, I wasn't sure if I want to use that shower uh, from university, the university pack. Um, it's just from like on the wall. I know other uh, Sims YouTube channels, they've used that for the tiny living and they put it above the sink. So you can kind of hit the way it's with moved objects, you can use, see here that there was the shower and I kind of placed it there, but I didn't really like how it looked, but they'll place the shower over the sink and then you can have full functionality of the sink and the shower uh, at different times. But then if anybody else needed to use the washroom while you were showering, yeah, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So here you see I end up moving the shower upstairs and then keep the bathroom just like that I guess it's called a powder room um just upstairs or uh, downstairs on the main floor just picking different doors um and then here you can see I end up making just to give a little bit more space I did a little uh diagonal wall so it adds a little bit more space into the kitchen where I hear I see I add a little three-seater table And I was looking for little, just added uh, entryway items. Um, so I added a little uh, bench um, with like hang, like a coat rack on it. So you can walk in, take off your shoes, um, hang up your jacket, and there's a little umbrella um, state like area there. So I end up, yeah, here we go, extending this area. So I don't know why I left it for so long, but I um, added some more space. Um, and I just kind of covered up that one little tile with the shower because it wouldn't let me cover there, as you can see. So I just end up covering it with the shower, which for some reason that's allowed. But actually putting a tile there with flooring didn't work. So here again, I so I place again a um, dresser just for added storage as well. Um, and some more, uh, just to add more things into the, the, the bedroom to make it, I guess, a little bit more practical. And I just started adding some of the wall paint and the outside uh, brick I end up using. And then adding many many more windows because for some reason you can't have enough windows even though it's a full glass room and you don't need a uh, glass uh, roof you don't need any windows there for some reason I just needed so many windows So as you can see, I kind of turn the camera a little bit and you can see everything that was on this ledge here and that windowsill uh, ends up floating. So it kind of sucks because it, it doesn't actually sit properly. Um, so if you're ever playing at this angle, you can see it floating if you have the walls down. Um, but uh, if, if anything, if it gets annoying or in my way or if I don't like how it looks, I'll just remove them. So I, I messed around a bit here. I couldn't decide what I wanted on this wall. I ended up leaving it blank, but I adjusted it several times. And this is my favorite planter, as I mentioned. I just like the way it looks. 
So I added it here on the side. Um, I added that plant, which I end up removing it. Added the mailbox back and just uh, added some decorations on this wall here. So the plant I put in the bathroom end up moving out like the way it looks there on the little half uh, or diagonal wall. Um, yeah, and then I end up doing a lot of landscaping here. I redid this so many times. I didn't keep it all in the video, but I changed the tiles like this pattern so many times like I was sitting there for I don't know how long it was but just rechanging it you can see like I changed it again and then I changed it one more time um, I like the way at the beginning how it looked it didn't look like um, it was done properly with actual tiles it just looked like it was like gravel or something there just creating a little walkway where people would walk in but not the full space I just like the way uh, I'm not sure why I just like the way this looked the most um, so yeah this completes this video guys thanks so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave any comments if you have any if you like to see more of this content please subscribe hope to see you guys in my next one bye